Hello everyone, I'm Day Weather Meteorologist Don Day with your Public Lands Council weekly weather update for this November 5th, 2022. Brought to you by Ag Risk Advisors and WSR Insurance Services Incorporated. Well, the western United States certainly has had a change in the weather. Colder, wet conditions have moved in. We've gotten some rain where we really needed it and more is coming. Perhaps the Pacific Northwest and California and parts of the Great Basin seeing the best precipitation in weeks, and there's more coming. But it is going to come at a little bit of a price, and that is some cold weather. The Pacific Northwest, most of the Intermountain West, the West Coast and the Great Basin states, and part of the Rockies, going to be cold and stormy. However, the silver lining is the precipitation that's coming with it and a boost to the early season snowpack. It is going to cause some problems, though, for travelers. It is going to be a little bit stressful on young and weak livestock with some winter conditions at times. Significant mountain snows are going to fall. The most significant snows in the mountains of the season so far will fall over the next seven days. And this will be really good news for the snowpack to get it off to a good start. It's been kind of lacking, but that's about ready to change. Do expect up and down temperatures and windy periods on the plains. A lot of the weather, the most stormy weather, is going to be found west of the Continental Divide to the west coast. That's where it's going to be the coldest, the wettest, and the most unsettled. East of the Continental Divide, we're going to have warm periods, cold periods, and in between, it's going to be windy. Precipitation east of the Continental Divide will be much lighter. We're still struggling to get good moisture east of the Divide. We've had a little, but it's going to be a mountain and west of the Divide situation over the next week where the most active, wettest weather is going to be. In the last seven days, you can see where some of that precipitation has hit the Pacific Northwest, the Sierras of California there, then into the Great Basin, and then you can see the higher mountain areas over the last seven days getting into some snow. But the precipitation anomaly only showing that Pacific Northwest area there with above average precipitation. But the next map, next week's map, will certainly look a lot different. Snow cover certainly has increased a lot. You can see that at least through Thursday evening, snow was expanding a little bit further south into the western United States and getting into those mountain areas. And with this pattern developing this weekend and into early next week, very strong, very energetic jet stream winds will be coming off the North Pacific into the West here. These strong jet stream winds will make it really snow in the mountains, make it really windy on the plains, and then we're going to see some areas of rain and snow head into the upper Midwest. We're also going to see some showers and thunderstorms in this part of the country here as that front goes on by. But what we have developing here is a lot of cold air in Canada and a real opportunity that we are going to be looking at some changing weather conditions coming during that time frame. This is the precipitation through this upcoming weekend. And you can see the heavy moisture into western Washington and Oregon, northern California. Now you get east of the Cascades, you've got that rain and snow shadow going on like we see a lot of times. But then you can see the snow picking up again into Idaho, western Montana, western Wyoming, northern Utah, the northern Great Basin, and into the central and northern Rockies. But notice east of the divide through the weekend, precipitation is going to be minimal. That's mainly due to Chinook conditions, bringing a windy, warmer pattern our way. Through the weekend, this is what the snowfall looks like. You can see some pretty robust snows falling in the Pacific Northwest and parts of the Northern Rockies. And you can take a look up north and see up into Saskatchewan and Alberta there, British Columbia, significant snows as well. Now, by next Saturday, we will see a lot of very cold air settling in out of Canada into the lower 48 states. There will be more systems coming through, but this time there's more cold air to work with. So that's going to make for a colder, more wintry weather pattern across the lower 48 states over the next week to 10 days. And I think most of North America for the month of November is going to be alternating between these colder periods and basically an early winter-like pattern developing. And you can see the 10-day average of temperatures. Look how cold the temperatures are in Western Canada and the Western United States. Anywhere you see blue, green, or purple, temperatures are below the 30-year average. Anywhere you see orange there, like you're seeing in the eastern side of the United States, those are above average temperatures. So the West is going to be cold, and not just cold, but pretty chilly. And pretty chilly throughout of California, through the Great Basin, even into Arizona, Utah, it's going to be colder than average with the coldest weather 
the most intense winter-like weather there, where you see the blues, the greens, and the purples in the northern Rockies of the U.S., the Pacific Northwest, and Southwest Canada. And this does match up to where you see the heavier precipitation falling over the next 10 days in those areas it is mentioned. But notice the rain gets further south into central and southern California. Significant rain or snows into the Great Basin. Boy, that's great news. And then you can see the central and northern Rockies picking up more snow to build that snowpack, as you can see there. Our next update will be the 12th. Have a great week ahead.